Forget Melrose. 90210 was a joke. It's time to get real. You're listening to The Real Realtors of the 804 with Janice Taylor, Richmond's number one award-winning realtor. Janice and the Taylor team are here to bring you answers, give you insight, and share their experience in the real estate world. And now, Janice Taylor. Hey guys, good morning. It's the Real Realtors of the 804. Take two, because Michael messed up on our oh, first one. Oh, <laughs> all out, right Gosh. away. Was that a big bus or a short bus? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, me, I asked a question and he pushed the wrong button. Then you, you missed the <laughs> coolest stuff. And I don't know that we can repeat it again. So. I think we can. Anyway. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, um, glad to be back with you guys. Uh, we have gotten a little bit into well, a lot into staging that we've talked about before but today we're doing photos and getting into just a little bit of before and afters on some staging that we've done uh we have mentioned in our previous podcast this year how important staging and preparation of the house going on the market and the listing is so crucial as opposed to last year last year we could put a house on the market with a sign up front and it would you know, bring multiple offers. Um, you know, it still had to look nice. We staged last year, but this year, the buyers, as we mentioned before, are definitely wanting fresh new paint, carpet, looks good, all of that, because um, the interest rates are higher and they don't have the money to fix it up anymore. So um, we are probably looking forward to another home staging that we're going to get Michael over here to uh, take professional photos so we can do a real nice, you know, before and afters. But right now you'll have to settle for our, you know, just. Well, Janice what? is still learning how to take those before uh, pictures. Uh, <laughs> you uh, might see yeah. some blurred out show, clients. Show. People, no people. Right. That's what I've just but, learned yeah. today. It's a, a lesson about <laughs> I know, 10 I'm minutes tra- ago. I'm going to trademark it. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I know that make in a t-shirt. sports. Hey, I know that in sports for my grandkids stuff. That's what I do. Right. Yeah, I, speaking yeah. of speaking of grandkids, we've got a new driver. Yes, we do. Kind of rolling out back and forth to school every day, and um, I feel very useless these days. Well, <laughs> she's she's spending a lot of time watching her phone as our poor son is driving, and there's just a map with a little life. Three hundred and sixty is through. my new social media now. I have yeah. that for uh, yeah. 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 Um, he he took a U turn the other day, and we called him out for it um, because it makes the drive a little shorter. And he's like, how did you know I did that? Uh-huh. Your mom's monitoring every single tire turn right now. Well, so. I, I also was like, s- sister hasn't told him that because she oh, yeah. knows she you knows do it. it as well. Well, the other day I said, he must have stopped at Taco Bell. He, there he is. Then I said, well, why is he at the mall? So and he's so, a teenager. He's going to stop at yeah, fast food He's got some gift cards. You know, and I, w- when he got home, I said, you know, were you getting something to eat? Why would you go to the mall? He's like, if anyone knows the uh, short pump intersection where the 7-Eleven is on Broad and Pump Pouncy Track. <laughs> He could not figure out how to get into that 7-Eleven. He needed That's gas. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. he was, he finally said, I don't know how to get to the 7-Eleven. He mm-hmm. lapped through the mall. He lapped through <laughs> everything it's a over hard there entrance. in the circle. And I go, That's dude, a- you picked the hardest one to figure I out. I am yeah. so glad I didn't grow up with that. Oh, no. Because <laughs> not that I was a bad kid. And I was, I was basically playing volleyball way too late at the beach. Right. Yeah. That I was supposed to be home. But um, having that device right is, for nowadays is a, like just keeps you in a yeah. peace of mind when you can you yeah. can alert it. it alerts me when he gets to school it alerts me when he leaves school it alerts me when he gets home so i mean i can set it to friends houses and then <laughs> you can also find out why it's in the pizza here because we told you to go get it right yeah. 10 minutes ago yeah <laughs> do you get better insurance rates for that for having like 360 uh, on your I, don't, I don't think so <laughs> it should his yeah. grades help so well, the good. amazing part is the kids have no concept of where they are because no. they've grown up looking at their phones as they drive around with their parents he doesn't know how to get into that 7-eleven that he's passed 5,000 times right. yeah, in the parking lot, but he had no concept how to get there because <laughs> second he started driving, he puts it in ways, uh-huh. follows what the map says to do without a concept of, hey, what's Interstate 64? What's Broad Street? Taylor, my daughter doesn't know either, and she's 18 years old. Right. Has no idea <laughs> the how fellow, to get to The places. future realtors, I mean, they're yeah. going to know street names. Do you remember how we used to do it? A map, yeah. Yeah, like we would map out the route, and I think Janice actually did this a couple weeks ago. <laughs> map quest? We would still pre-drive. Oh, my, my like, father-in-law did, does that. Because you didn't want to put somebody in the car and uh, have uh, no I idea where you're areas, going. I don't so know where I'm be going. Like, 
you'd be like, okay, let me map out this whole thing. Every turn was there. Janice had MapQuest until last year, I think. <laughs> I mean, we've, had, we've had technology beyond that, but she just liked those pieces of paper to follow. But, but you know what? The kids These, don't know. They don't know, and they don't know. Uh, let's just speak about real estate because that is all about driving. They don't know if they're showing a house in Eastern Henrico or Western Henrico, Midlothian. They don't know the areas. You know, they just don't mm-hmm. have the big picture because they have their map, their um ways i'll try to go really quick but i was in regional sales and it was before the google tom tom and everything was out and i uh, I was a regional sales tom tom Tom, Tom, that's that's a blast (laughs) and so um i was flying to the midwest Uh, from texas to wisconsin was my territory i was 23 years old and i had to go build up the territories of selling to walmart of items in this it was paint or artwork and so I, they had an atlas at Walmart that showed all the current stores in the back, and you just had to mark it where they were on the thing. I paid a college student 200 bucks every six months because they would come out with a new map to mark all the store numbers on the map. Oh, and, then, and then I would, I would hand that to the person I hired in that territory. Here's the map of all the you know, current yeah. places or whatever. But like... Nowadays, you there's kids. There's no way they know how to read a map. No, right, right. Now, I heard it's a new millennial thing that they're actually pulling up. I maps have heard it that is, yeah. because they think it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe Just you should the get challenge. them a Walmart map. Is, right. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm right. Take away their phones for like three weeks of driving just to figure out where they're going. So they have yeah. some concept. I, you could we say do. north, south, east, west to the kids nowadays, and they don't have a clue. Well, neighborhoods, when you go and do a listing, sometimes I'm like, uh, how do I get out of here? Right. And so mm-hmm. I like swipe <laughs> down on my Tesla to it. go uh, out of, like to home or whatever, and yeah. that gets me in the right direction. I do the same yeah. thing for yeah. sure. <laughs> We it's use a, it as a crutch. Right. They use it as a necessity. necessity. <laughs> yeah. When I it's lived crazy. when I lived in DC, um, internships in college, my dad never left the house. He would sit on the beach and have a map with him because I would call him and be like, I'm on you oh, know gosh, L yeah. Street <laughs> Southwest. He's like, Oh, you need to get out of there. You know, so <laughs> I always, I know that New York and I don't take a right turn in yeah, DC. Yeah. New York and I are the ones that run both ways through the city from him. So <laughs> I can always get somewhere now in DC. <laughs> the beach i will never forget you are on a bridge and you weren't supposed to be on that bridge and the bridge what is the highest bridge ever that was when i now i was in oh. Flor. oh that was with taylor but at one time yeah. i was in florida in jacksonville when i traveled with circuit oh, city yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, circuit city i learned Whoa. for circuit city i did all the uh the uh remodeling when they got rid of the appliances that's funny blast from the past <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, let's. Oh, there you go. That was your segue into staging. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I read of yeah. all of the. I didn't know you, you got background Fl- and yeah. a certificate. A little floor planning. <laughs> yeah, merchandising, merchandising and floor planning. Floor planning. Yeah. Led to staging. Yeah. Well, anyway. let's let's get into this. We could talk about family all day long. Right. Not sure y'all want to hear that all day long, but they probably do because we have great stories. Yeah. yeah. Fun. <laughs> There's some fun ones. Um. Okay. Back to staging. Um. So we've just taken some pictures of a vacant home. And um, an occupied home. Right. And just to give you guys an idea of some things that we do to, you know, make it more saleable, make the photography that Michael does prepped out and, and you know, make it look fabulous on there. And the ones that we did with the, we'll, we'll show you, but the ones that we did with the house that is empty, you know, we will tell you what we suggested that the seller do. And they really did everything they, we yes. asked them to. So our, our sellers are wonderful and we really don't come across anybody that, you know, doesn't really appreciate our comments and our suggestions. And, right. you know, if, if they don't, we tell them why they need to do it. <laughs> so anyway. Right. And with well, the and ma- how, you, how you show a house and how you stage it versus how you live in it every day is totally very, different. Very, very so different. Hopefully right. it's a uh, it's a one weekend ordeal of living with uh, the 5,000 pillows yes, that Janice and Jennifer are going to bring in. <laughs> yeah. And we the, do do the, that. The seller's men don't love that. No. So anyway. And with the magic of editing, we're going to talk about some pictures. I'm going to drive a little bit here. Um, Michael's going to put them up when this is produced, so you'll see what we're talking about. So... Um, First, Hopefully in the correct order. I know, right? I'm like, pay attention. <laughs> Make sure um, you call out the wall color. Exactly. So um, the first house, this is the one. We took some pictures when they were still living in there. And um, when they vacated, we did have the house completely painted, new light fixtures, things like that that would show well in, photog- in the photographs and online. Um, and this house had how many showing or showings and contracts? Is this uh, Capilano? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think this was 50 showings, yeah. 50 showings mm-hmm. and 
fifteen offers, I believe. Yeah, or, I think it was fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Right beautiful in that range. home. So about ten percent over our right. list price. Yeah, um, appraisals waived, inspections waived, and I think that's one of the biggest pieces to the staging is that the overbids come from these details. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so even in our market where, you know, I look at it and I go, wow, there's 50 buyers that walk through this house. There's 49 that didn't buy this house. So 49 more houses have to come in to eat up that inventory. But if you create this sense of urgency by how the house looks, they know they can move right, right in. It's the key. Right. And and this was, and, and I will say, you know, a little kudos to us, I think, because we do try to, you know, um, we do try to you know talk with our sellers know our audience you know this was a couple that had been in there for a long long time Mm -hmm. and it's sometimes hard you know to convince them to make this change uh and we were going to make the change while they were still in the house and then when they saw the changes that we we asked for and they agreed to they decided to go ahead and move out correct because they did have the ability to purchase their other home before they bought this one and it was really much better for them, I think. Yeah, um, and an extremely well maintained house. Exactly, like they had totally. taken care beautiful of it. home. They had done the kitchen. They had done a lot of the big, big items. It's just kind of the fine details mm-hmm. that show well. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, um, as you can see here, this is the dining room um, when it was occupied. So, um, again, beautiful furniture, everything. But we just know through pictures that you know red walls don't really Which show one red? the best. <laughs> I, I think we've been through a red and red, and blue. a navy dining room yeah. ourselves. Um, and then just updated lighting and again, and the way we go about it is, you know, we have kind of the same light packages sort Mm -hmm. of that we can select from depending on the house. So you have more contemporary, more traditional, and we get really good prices on them. So it might not be what you would put in a house that you're going to stay in if you're, you know, using a designer or something like that, but it's going to look amazing in photographs. People are going to, you know, realize that it's updated lighting. And, um, you know, go and from there. I'll mention on here, if, if, if this wasn't vacant and we didn't bring our furniture into here, some things, obviously, we would have suggested the painting. We Sometimes you'll see in another house that we're going to show you that we do use the furniture, you know, when um, we don't have a place to store it. Um, but in this case, you know, if we kept their furniture, we would have suggested, obviously, taking the tablecloth off. Um, taking the plates off the walls, taking, we usually take everyone's photos down, pictures, mirrors, everything down. We bring our own in, Correct. Um, particularly if there's a new palette and we use the gray or really light, light gray or something, our staging stuff, uh, staging items go with the new palette. Right. We call it kind of grayed up, not really a term, but we use it because you'll notice it in photos uh, the minute you see 50 MLS photos, whether a house has been grayed up or not. So. And I think with this home, if I recall correctly, we did ended up doing everything we painted with the edge comb gray. Mm-hmm. Um, we kind of go back and forth between agreeable and edge comb, depending on what's in the house existing. And we did How leave... How much light it has. Correct. Yeah. And we did leave some paint in, you know, some rooms not, that this just flowed really well with. All right, let me see. Find, uh, all right. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is the after of that dining room. And, you know, this wow. again. All right. Wow. Oh, this nice. was the, um, this again, they vacated. So right. we were able to bring in everything of our own. We put a new, you know, larger light fixture in to fit the size of the room because it definitely could accommodate it. The neutral walls, which you can see. And, the, and again, these are the professional pictures from my Michael. <laughs> the first ones weren't, but, um, and then our table, chairs, furniture, we use a lot of lamp light because it shows well um, in pictures. And when people come in, it just makes it cozier. The larger items for staging on the walls, like you said, the Correct. great big mirror. Um, I don't know if we have pictures. We do have a couple of the walls with some big artwork right. on them that might be in there. But, and again, to, to the point of the lighting, um, I would say we've never put in a light fixture over $300. No. So we try to find the biggest, most robust light fixtures um, for the least amount of money. And, you know, obviously keeping with the trend and the times, very architectural or very big, um, give a lot of light. And, um, and again, some people already have rub bronze in their house. Then we need to go with rub bronze. Right. We were kind of starting over here. There was a little bit of rub bronze and we did change that um, and did all brush nickel on this house. So Right. Yeah. And, and on the items that they bring in so the staging portion of it is free all of the legwork is free if we bring in furniture and things like that there's no charge to our sellers uh, but the the fixtures if we change things like mm-hmm. that we do build them back they're built at mm-hmm. closing so usually For no it's upcharge. not yeah, yeah usually it's not anything that you're having to pay out of pocket for in most cases so it's stuff that we can all kind of get applied to closing 
Um, Side note, that that's a table that. they bought from me. Yes, it is that, a table. That table yes, is bought from you? <laughs> yeah. That table when is I, heavier than it looks. When I, when I uh, decided to go into the staging business for a year, which we I did pretty well. No, I kidding. did pretty you well, did, though. Did, did. I did pretty well. But the problem was, is just logistically, I was going to lose my sanity. Right, yeah. right. So, yeah. But uh, that table has gone to a lot of places. It has <laughs> been to a lot. And uh, yeah, we can we know which people you know don't use coasters. I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and and to that point, you know we love it when our furniture goes into a vacant house because it's not used. Right. But you know a lot of times when our sellers are still living there and they have animals or children or something, we have to really kind of categorize which tables or chairs and all we're bringing. Uh, not because we're worried about that, but some of them you know, have been well loved and, you know, we might have a loose leg on one. Right. I know some children came and sat in one of our pieces of furniture at uh, one of our houses and Bobby was over there re-securing the leg with braces and all because in the move it had gotten a little wobbly and we had didn't want to chance those little ones. Right. You know, oh, so. it's, it's always great to go show a staged house with kids and oh. you see that bed yeah. that's sitting there and it's so like welcoming <laughs> yeah. to this kid. And I know in the back of my mind that it's either a blow up. Oh, right. It may yeah. not even be a blow up it may be a box yeah, yeah we've never done that there, and but you're yeah. just hoping the kid doesn't just run and jump on it right you're like no 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 like you stop and freeze you're like this is all stage this right, is all stage right. when the tv on the wall says yes. props on it yeah instead of sony it says props you you know right. it's all staging stuff right so. yeah and then this is the fam- we'll do a few rooms this is the family room um again of the same house of the same yeah. house mm-hmm. again they you know, vacated this but Definitely lived up to everything they needed in their house. And uh, we just wanted to kind of open it up a little bit. And, and can, before you change it. Yeah. So a couple of things, you know, just that TV cabinet with the TV TV in it is, you know, a little outdated. You know, it's perfect for them because of the size of the TV. But a lot of times, you know, we just don't even put a TV. If, if it's a vacant house, we don't we use our props. We will put a big mirror or a picture, you know. People can envision where they want their television to go, but right. to use one sometimes just just doesn't up, you know doesn't accent the room actually. So right. um, you'll see what we did in the next photo with that cabinet, and you know just some things that we put in there as opposed to, and also just the placement of the furniture. Right. So opening up that room, taking those two chairs out where they are. We These wanted two chairs backed up to the kitchen area, mm-hmm. so it really closed it off. Yeah. Um, and they had done an awesome job renovating the kitchen to open it oh, up yeah. to the house. So Beautiful we wanted kitchen. to show, we really show anything that in the off. Kitchen. No, <laughs> but no. you wanted to show off that view right. from right. an open kitchen mm-hmm. to an open family room. Right. right. And then this is the uh, updated version. So mm-hmm. we just kind of opened it up with, you know, nothing blocking the pathway from the kitchen to the family room. And then lightened up the furniture with lighter colors neutral Um, rug i think was there a ceiling fan in the other one there was a ceiling fan i don't know if you could see it but we replaced it just with a flush mount again it just raises the ceilings um it's cleaner you know it's some people we're we're, we're dealing right now with a house that has ceiling fans in like two in a bathroom yeah and they're gonna all come out ceiling fans in the bathroom yes i mean they're gonna all come out well, and and look, I'm a ceiling fan guy. Like I love a ceiling fan, but functionality versus showing. Yeah, it's just things. it's dated, and I mean, you're flinging the towel over you. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes we replace them if they really want to keep their ceiling fan with a hundred dollar more, you know, contemporary looking right. design. But you know, most of the time it just raises your eye up. It's cleaner. It's you know, and it, certainly these light fixtures that we use, you know, are thirteen dollars. So yeah, you you know. two pack and yeah, install them. So, but anyway, we lightened up the bookshelves. Um, this paint actually was the original, so we kind of worked mm-hmm. off of this paint to right. you know let it flow for the rest of the house, and then just our furniture, the rug, everything just kind of lightened and brightened it up a little mm-hmm. bit. So we did some had. key pieces, little accent pieces on the bookcases, right? Um, and you know, we, we go with a theme of, you know, either aqua pop of color or sometimes a green or something, you know, something that's more neutral these days. So, um, looks like about seven to eight pillows in that picture. Is that that fairly standard for a room? Is that six on the sofa and then one on the the sofa? (laughs) It photographs so so well. (laughs) That's why we live the way we do. (laughs) All right. And, um, I think that. You go. You go to that fan. The sunroom. room. Is so this is sun this room? is the sunroom before sun oh, their yeah. sunroom. Okay. Now we hadn't planned to really bring so much furniture into here because that was so light and bright. We were we chose to keep the same color, which was really cool. The right. color that they chose. Um. So we just really added something to make, warm it up a little bit. 
the table, two chairs, and uh, there really wasn't need for pictures on the wall. But you know, some cool bamboo, you know, stick lamps and right, you know, that sometimes sort of thing, when we're but, not staging, it's like oh, we do have this extra table and two lamps and a couple uh-huh. chairs that just like you said, warm it up, right? And just bring some focus to that room because that room was amazing with the sunlight. Right, they had we, just redone a deck. We had some really cool those mirrored panels on each side of the window really kind of reflected all the light in there too so right we did take the ceiling fan down and ugh, ceiling fan down in there as well and put the flush mount up this was a big change here yeah i'll go back to that one yeah the foyer this uh-huh. again they had a uh, you know a runner that was a little dated mm-hmm. and it just photographed a little busy um and then the front of their house was the yellow that everyone had you know and done very well but we and just this is that the, this is that first impression when they walk in the right. house so we want that first kind of look to be you know as modern as you know complete mm-hmm. as it possibly can right and so we did oops oh, there we go just brighten it up again with that paint. That's that Edgecomb gray. Kind of minimalized the furniture mm-hmm. they had in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we had new carpet installed up the steps. And then the whole second floor, we had right. carpet done. Um, and all the bedrooms and halls. Painted, painted the railings black. Painted the railings black, which is a, a big, you know, big yeah, thing. Yeah. So, and um, shows really well. Yeah. yeah. I think so, too. And sometimes, you know, we love to put a little mirror in the foyer. This time we didn't have an oblong mirror, you know, rectangular mirror like that. So we, you know, that color of that kind of right. went into the living room as well. And you can't so. see it, but we did do a semi, you know, a different flush mount. Yeah. It's that really kind cool of dressed flush up mount that there. foyer yeah. and matched with the dining room because the dining room's off to the left. Mm-hmm. So. All right. This was uh, the last room we'll talk about in this house is the living room. Um, she's mm-hmm. an unbelievable piano and organ player so definitely this was her like home base i yeah. think you know so um just really needed to lighten it up we changed that color the, the edge comb we brought that in there um and again a little easier when they do move out because the bookcases are empty that we're able to kind of bring mm-hmm. our zest into be- it be- before you change that can we talk about the piano yeah, talk about i mean the the, piano. i was gonna say like if you follow our social media that yes. piano like it was an amazing move. She had um, the piano movers come in. I think it took five piano movers mm-hmm. because in their new house, which I was fortunate enough to work with them on, it needed to go upstairs. To a loft. To a loft. Yes. On a... Oh, my gosh. Turned... Wait, uh, turned, uh, turned, uh, turned not L-shaped. Yeah. 90-degree right. turned 90 staircase. 90-degree turned staircase. How the heck did they make that happen? So... They took One that of our contractors... Apart. I might have mentioned this in a previous one, but one of our contractors came over... Uh-huh took the banister down for them and then her movers got it up and the pictures are just hilarious there's oh like we gotta, okay we gotta you gotta, send, you gotta send them to me so oh, well, we yeah. send them to put them on there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, they made it work we though. were all there watching it because yeah. like <laughs> i didn't know a piano could come apart that in that many pieces but yeah yeah gotta, she's sending pictures to me as it's happening she's like okay they made it to the turn they made it to the turn <laughs> everything's torn off and i'm like oh my gosh please somebody don't just fall sideways off of there and it got up there it's perfect like it's a it's a great do you fit. remember we like to shout out to that piano mm-hmm. company it was it was our seller's choice of the piano company oh, yes yeah. i don't know that we'd ever want to be involved and suggest anybody for that but we'll get the name if any yeah. of you guys yeah. need a piano move. We'll i don't on remember the name sure. of it right now but we check our uh, facebook page we'll put it on there yeah, yeah. We'll get a keyboard come on yeah. come <laughs> she's a purist so yeah <laughs> so Excellent pianist but you can that. see they did move oh, oh. it's the kitchen sorry they did move everything out again we Mm-hmm. Rolled that edge comb gray through and just lightened up that room. So made it a little bit more formal. Yep. Mm-hmm. Put pretty much, you know, a good good amount of furniture in there for a sitting area. A little bit right. more formal rug than we did in the family and room. How many, how many pillows? Uh, there's a lot in that one. Lot it seems like a Set, theme. The, let's say the seven on the couch, like one on each chair. Yeah, we're yeah. at nine in that room. <laughs> okay. So we're upwards of 30 right. in the house so far. Yeah. We, yeah. we do have a storage unit just dedicated to pillows. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We do. Um, is and it we, color coordinated? It, it used is. to oh, be. Yeah. It, 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 it still is a little they, bit. It depends been, how they unload each time. It's been a little busy. Right. So, <laughs> Is it a long day or a short day? How yeah. organized is that store? Or hot or cold outside. Be? I don't know if you can see in that photo. If there's a glare for me. But, you know, we are bringing in a lot of gold. <clears throat> All the new, you know, it, and it brush. really does photograph well, the brush gold. Um, I think those lamps are gold. The tables there. are gold. With um, The tables are a little different than we normally. I mean, we love these tables. Yeah. Our goal is to find find items and purchase them um, that are easy to move, easy to clean, uh, lightweight, and no glass. 
Jennifer found these tables from another stager that we went after, and um, Bobby and I got there to pick up the tables, and they made what fifty pounds a piece. I mean, I can carry them. So okay, well I can't. But anyway, (laughs) you and Dad. um, As long as her pickleball elbow isn't bothering me. It's still bothering me. So we got that's the whole thing. But but anyway, they're amazing. Mm. You know, but we do love to. You know, um, find some good buys here and there, and sometimes right. staging companies go out of business, so we'll purchase their furniture. Yep, not just you, just other. <laughs> there are I'm, others. I'm, I'm out of business. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You bought me out. Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> anyway, um, but it just staying up with the times with bringing in some of the new colors and you know all of that, and then because that that room is put together pretty well. We know that, that two, those two canvases go together, one frame print, the other one, they've got the navies, the golds, the blues, you know, all of that. And we can transform that whole room into another room in another house without having to go back to storage. Because once we get to move one, you know, once one um, home sells and we finished with appraisal and inspection and we have another one to stage, we already have in our mind, hey, this whole room can go right there and we don't have to go back to storage and get new things, new items. How many houses do you think you can stage in one time since you have multiple houses sometimes? (laughs) Oh, that's a great question. Um, Probably a dozen. I mean, a half a dozen. We've yeah. got how many? Four like with all sofas. of our inventory? Yeah. yeah. We have four or five sofas, a ton of chairs. Um, we only have two dining room tables. Correct. Um, obviously, the lamps and the pillows. Half a dozen, dozen with, with big furniture. With big furniture. Big half yeah. a dozen. How often we, could, a, we could accessorize. Oh, yeah. Accessorize. 20 houses, yeah. probably. How often do you recycle, re-change recycle them? Yeah. your couches Three and things to four. like that? Well, couches, we have been pretty lucky. We've had one. Well, two years, two to three years, I'd death, say. But I think yeah, one, Bobby was one, able to fix it. But yeah. not, a, not a death on the couch. A no, death no, no, no. Of the like couch. a leg of the yeah. couch fell off. Yeah. He found a way, found a way to fix it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I would say, and it's not so much the usability of it a lot of times, it's just the, you well, know, the trend. The, cha- and, uh, the, and, the trends, yeah. you know, that change. Yeah. But that's why Colors. we do. Everything we usually get is neutral, and then we accessorize with colors. But mm-hmm. clearly, um, I pillows. went in a house uh, about a few weeks ago, and um, the seller had paintings and excuse me, paintings and canvases on the walls that we used about ten years ago. Right, <laughs> and it was the same stuff, you know, because places we go to buy things change or you know whatever too. So right. that wasn't a bad thing, but they knew they needed stage, so you know they hired us. So. Mm-hmm. So we're going to move on to um, this next house that people li- stayed in the house. So we used a lot of their, we did mm-hmm. bring some stuff in, but we used a lot of their stuff. We did load their garage up with the things we didn't use. Um, and that's okay because people knew they were moving and they really mm-hmm. didn't use it for a car anyway. So it just didn't work out for a it, couple of days. <laughs> and they just, oh my gosh, the house was pristine when we got there. Right. Brand new kitchen, painted wall. We didn't have anything to do with the their pre staging but redone. it was everything we would have picked. Yeah. Right. Carpet, light paint, fixtures were already done, fixtures. bathrooms were done. Yeah. So. And the kitchen was phenomenal. So all we really had to do was get right. rid of some of the brown furniture. Yeah, I like you when I go to a house and you guys done and I go shoot the bathroom and then Janice goes, next day did you get the light fixture <laughs> don't get that toilet get the how light fixture. do i know if it's been there or not been there you know? take them all what is my uh, response the light if fixture. it looks new take it how am i supposed to know that right right the light no toilet like, pictures i've only been the light fixtures like i've only been here for a day right right, <laughs> right. and this is why michael is our photographer and janice is not because right. i'm clearly right in the middle of that photo in the yes mirror. exactly so, um but uh, what we were just trying to snap some this yeah, is a, this ones. is our um, unprofessional um, yes. befores. Mm-hmm. So this was the foyer of this house. There's a there's a person in that picture and her phone's up and down. So the, she's learning. People. That's oh yeah, people. 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 Yeah. People. yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, people. our listeners have to describe. Right. One. Exactly. All right. And I'm tr- trying to drive quickly. Um. Interesting. There we go. Okay. So here that was the before. Here's the after. We did get rid of that um, brown piece of we, furniture. We repurposed the brown furniture. We, yeah. <laughs> well, if it's... We, we replaced it. We replaced it. Yeah. yeah, we replaced it. So just kind of, again, lightened it up, right? Yeah. We didn't have to paint, but look how much brighter the foyer looks and a little bit more welcoming. Yeah, just... Uh, and you'll recognize the photo from the last house we just did. Yep. That canvas. Put a wreath on the door. You know, just one, you know, one little, you know, piece of ac- accessory on the table. We did paint and the railings black. That's the only thing yeah, we did, we did. Mm-hmm. And um, and And again, sometimes the scale of the pieces we use just makes the room look bigger because the larger the piece if we only use one really nice piece it does make the wall look bigger believe it or not so 
yeah, in depth a lot of times. Like mm-hmm. on that, their piece was a lot deeper on that right, wall. Yeah, right. Ours is a narrow, right. you know, kind of 12 right. inch piece. It just looks, looks wider. So again, this is our um, before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this one should have been uh, no people, but it was people up and down. But that's <laughs> well, okay. I didn't know we were going to use these. <laughs> I know, yeah. We were snapping quick. Yeah. Um, so this is the family room. Um, again, we didn't really, we kept the rug that they used. We just, we kept mm-hmm, their sofas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you'll see in the next picture, we did do new end tables, lamps, a bigger piece of art on the wall. Right. Um, and you can't tell from in this, this picture, we had already cha- moved some things out. They had a really big chair in there correct? Um, that we had already moved out. So it wasn't a true before and after, but you can see the difference in the next photo probably. And then of course, this is the professional wow. picture. Oh, that's the family room. That's uh, we were on the family room. Oh, I thought that was the, I thought that was the floor. I'm no. sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> There's a glare, so I can't really see yeah. it, but that's okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Well, we had a little disagreement on this one because Jennifer says, oh, let's leave those brown tables. Wait, wait good who who on the won edge. the disagreement? Which brown tables? We changed those end tables. Oh, the end tables. Yeah. Them. I didn't think you'd notice. But you know what? We did use the end tables. They didn't have them in their bedroom. So we used them. Yeah. They worked. Yes. It's Brand funny. Down. I never get the final call on any of these things. No. They, they <laughs> but don't really you know, take my opinion. But you know, with this house, and the only reason why I remember this house is because it's somewhat in this um, last month, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, three weeks ago. Maybe. Right. So... There's something in that room that wasn't. <laughs> you did good. I, that almost all the photos did not make it into the MLS. It, so they had this huge, like, awesome saltwater fishing tank. That I mean, was it was big. Yeah, in this photo, it's in this it's in this family room, kind of on the left wall, the way this picture sets up. Right, hundred and sixty gallon. Yeah, it's giant. They're moving to Florida, and I have no idea how you transport. Uh, 160 gallon mm-hmm. tank to floor and they're so lo- like if you have one of those saltwater tanks it's an investment it is oh, a yeah. lifestyle yeah and it was just a huge part of that family room and kind of the everything. pictures and everything else kind of made it disappear it. they had they had a buyer oh, they for sold it. Oh, oh, wow. the fish everything and it, and it, it, it might be the people that i just had move in from tennessee whose saltwater tank broke on their move on their move Ugh. and they're probably like ah oh, there's another one here we should yeah. have just put them all together. Right. Yeah. No. Right. Yep. Um, just bringing people together. Yeah. There right. you go. That's, That's what, what we, we do. do. That's how we do. Uh huh. Um, all right. So this is the Eden area. Again, we didn't do too much here, really. It was just kind of, I think, just playing around with the location of the table and taking some chairs away. You can see the difference. And a lot of our sellers will go, wow, why didn't I think of that? Right. It just kind of opened up that area, the whole Eden area and the transition between the kitchen and the, um, so we just turned it from, you know, the way as you were looking at it, it was vertical. Now it's horizontal. We only left four chairs there. Um, and, you know, in the scale of things, it just opened up the walkway tremendously, right. you know, from the uh, kitchen to the. And that pathway to the back door, mm-hmm. which they right. had an yeah. awesome, like, mm-hmm. um, right. outdoor patio. Oh, yeah. yeah. The backyard was beautiful. The fixtures beautiful. were all stuff they had already done. So they had. And we just cleaned up the counters really a little nice bit. Fixtures. Um Put took some, some baskets on. Right. Yeah. Took some pictures off the wall. Just. Mm-hmm. Really, and they they were uh, the most responsible picture hangers. They did everything with the um, magic the, tape, the tape, three D, three M, three M strips. Oh my gosh! So we felt bad to even put something on the mm-hmm. wall. <laughs> all right, we have two more pictures to show of this house, and then and this is it's turning into quite a good. All right, so that was just one of their spare bedrooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there was a desk in there with like a little office, right? But- um, just to show you what we do, you know, a lot of times we'll bring in, most of the time we do bring in new bedding. We have it laundered every time we do bring it right. in and, uh, we're assuming you're not going to use it because <laughs> we have so many pillows on it, but, um, it is something that, you know, we know just generates a little bit more that, uh, this one, we actually just flipped their comforter over because we like oh, yeah, the that's other right. side we, of A it. lot of times we just flip them over. Yeah. That little yellow table was in the downstairs in the living room, in the living room. Um, that was their picture, uh, above the bed there that was in their family room, yeah, but we put a bigger a scale in down there and use that upstairs. Yep. Um, a couple of those pillars were theirs and we just put some lamps on the dresser there, but you know, just, uh, yeah, yeah flip that one over. That was a pretty quick, quick, mm. quick change. All right. I think there is, let's see. One uh, dining room or living room, which one would you want to do? The or dining. do you want to do both? Do both. Do both? Okay. Yeah. All we right. We did the dining room. Oh, no, we didn't do the dining room. Yeah, okay. No, we haven't done that yet. Um, <clears throat> all right, this one, 
this will have a happy face over our cellar. <laughs> he didn't know we were digging. But this was their um, their dining room. Uh -huh. um, and again, very yep. useful for them. Yeah. But we just... Next one, we... Um, wanted to take Some key it. features in a dining room, we very rarely use your rugs. Um, no matter how cool they are, it just flows better. It looks more formal without a rug. I'm not saying... Don't put a rug under your dining room table for use. I have one. I would never take right. it away. But for pictures, we don't know. It just flows better. And their floors are in good shape. Floors so. are fabulous. Yeah. Um, we took two of their chairs and put them back. We anchored that wall unit. A lot of times we take away the china cabinets or we take the tops off. Right. This one was a really heavy and we decided to leave it. We did anchor that with the two armchairs on each side of it. And um, it just it just simplifies the whole thing. You know, well, and it makes more. that floor space look so yeah, much larger when it's set up like that because you've got a kind of a view across all those, right. which were totally refinished hardwood floors. I mean, like from that standpoint, I went to a walkthrough yesterday, and a rug was covering a huge, oh, deep, yeah. dark stain in oh, hardwood I floors. That. I said, so just from a disclosure standpoint, from a kind of a hey that we're an open book. When that was gone, and we show up at a walkthrough and see it for the first time, you know, it's pretty. Uh, surprising to a buyer you're trying to figure out hey is there some type of um you know agreement we can come to mm -hmm. to repair this because it wasn't something we've seen when it's all clean and you know we try to make everything open and viewable so there's no right. surprises when they get to walk through stage mm -hmm. um between the way we stage a house and we go and it's it's not fun to walk into something mm -hmm. that you didn't expect to be there and um, if there is a on the other side a, a blemish you know on the floor or something i mean if you just said yeah, this but yeah. we we don't cover it up you no, know that's we, what i mean yeah. we will not put a rug over it we would rather them see it then than at the walk surprise when right before closing you've got to renegotiate yeah. something if possible yeah. if you have to so right <clears throat> and this was the living room kind of hard to see from our unprofessional picture but mm. just kind of didn't have much on the wall actually they did they had a ton on the walls they had already yeah. taken it down um and this house was really neat because we kept everything the way they had it they used their living room as their dining room because the furniture was large yeah. and to scale for that dining room this room is actually the living uh the dining room and they used it as a den so we just kind right. of yeah uh, that was their cool light fixture yep um we put one photo on the wall one big clock and those lamps you know kind they are table across from the sofa just to warm it up a little right. bit mm -hmm. brought some um put their floor lamp from the dining room in there uh, used their um, rug that they already had and just, you know, kind of cleaned everything up. Those little baskets they had, so we just brought those in. But um, it just neutralized everything, yeah. you know, yeah. quite a bit. Right. And again, you know. this house had how many showings, how many contracts? I think this was close to 30 showings mm -hmm. and eight contracts, mm -hmm. eight offers on this. And again, well over their asking price. Yes. So right. we created that sense of urgency and, uh, yeah. you know, great results for a seller. Right, right. And just to, you know, kind of finalize, when we do the, when we bring in our furniture, which we didn't have to do here. Correct. Just a couple little things. We little brought little in tables, tables all of that. Tables. The furniture that we do bring in for the house that was vacant, you know, we obtain the movers, we pay the movers, we have kind of a moving company on, you know, on call for us when we need them. And, um, you know, it's nice. Or I get to help list Or you get yeah. yeah, you had to move yeah. one thing from one house that didn't get moved to this yeah. house. Yeah, a little. Yeah, you and Bobby. David did. moving. Or, or Chuck and Ramon. <laughs> Give a shout Chuck out Ramon. to Chuck and Ramon. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it helps us help you guys. It helps us get you more money. It helps us sell your home faster. And, you know, we don't mind doing that, you know, before the scenes work, before the great photography is taken mm -hmm. to, um, you know, to get this all done and Has get a higher anybody price. After you guys done staging, say, oh, wait, I don't want to move. I like what you did. Every time? Every time. <laughs> Every time. They, Every I time. They or do. they want us or to come to the new house and do that. I can't tell you how many times I have, like, hey, can your wife come to our new place? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the outside For business. the price. Yeah. <laughs> or can we buy what we just, what you just oh, yeah, put a lot in of our times house? They'll, they'll ask, you know, if they're buying things in the house, and we right. have to tell them that was staging items. But, um, right. but you know, again, it's, it's the lifestyle that these photos aren't the way – all of us live, but none of us live. I mean, this is obviously for show purposes. And when a buy, when a seller comes in and sees their house all cleaned up like this with no clutter and no, you know, you know, knickknacks everywhere. Man, I wish I could live like that. Right. You know, we, we I don't. mean, it's but but that's what <laughs> our we're, houses do not look like. These <laughs> we are portraying a lifestyle that we want the buyer to come in and think, oh, my gosh, if I bought this house, my stuff would look just like this. in here. Right. And that's what we're trying to portray, you know, so. 
Yeah, yeah. And again, free of charge to our sellers. Yes, which free is, of charge uh, to our yeah. sellers. Yep. Taylor Team Staging. Pretty big deal. Yep. Mm-hmm. Taylor Team Sells. Yes. Mm-hmm. All a package. Yep. yep. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in all liter- ways. Literally. <laughs> at times, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, I think that about does it yeah. for today. And, um, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give you it. guys some, yeah, some befores and afters because you've heard us talk about staging so much. And um, we got you know. uh, we got some new things coming down the pipeline. Yeah. We do. Yeah, we are going to. Um, here ha- is the commitment right here. <laughs> when she if we says say it, it loud, we will it do it. <laughs> we are going to be looking into, and we've already gotten a couple of people on board to do a community. Spot- we call it? Spotlight. Spotlight on, um, you know, just bringing our viewers and we hope to have more. We love uh, it. It seems to be moving up every time you show us the numbers from our podcast, Michael. So um, but to do a community spotlight on some companies in town that we align with or we would want to align with things we truly believe in, whether it's charity work or things to help the real estate world, uh, things to help our buyers and sellers. It might not be directly related to buying and selling, but, you know, companies that we think you guys would, you know, need to know about and, um, and charities that we, you know, feel very strong about. So yeah, I think we're hoping to bring in our partners at uh, Children's Miracle Network, Mm -hmm. Children's uh, Hospital, yep, benefit from kind of every sale purchase, whatever we do, there's always something that goes back to Children's right. Miracle Network in our in our children's sellers or buyer's in name in yeah. our buyers or sellers name we do a donation for the Children's Hospital Children's, children's Miracle Network mm-hmm. um, and um, there's some new companies in town that we were made aware of that we think are really going to benefit some of you all that need to maybe make some modifications in your house before you ever decide to sell even so right you know some things that um, you know we just you know just spotlight on some new community uh, activity yeah. Yeah. Might be a new restaurant. You never know. I know. Might be a new bar. Hey, we can do a <laughs> podcast from a bar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the next <laughs> there one. we go. On location. Yeah. Uh-huh. On location. Yep. yep. All we'll right. We'll call it the 804 happy hour. Yeah. yeah. I, I love That's it. That's what I like on location. <laughs> yeah. On location. Uh-huh. Team podcast on 804 okay. on location. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, subscribe, like, you know, all the things below. Um, and we hope we, you know, entertained you some today and educated you a little bit. And hopefully we can work with you guys if you need our services. Also, if you're listening, be sure to go to the YouTube to subscribe because you won't be able to see what we're talking about if you're listening to it. Right, right. You know, yeah. to see all That's the right. photos and befores and afters. Right, after. yeah. yeah. This, this would be a visual one for sure. Yeah, visual so. only. <laughs> visual. Yes. <laughs> Good job in putting all that together, guys. I know. Um, Woohoo. I just fed Can't pictures. I don't know what they did. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode of The Real Realtors of the 804. If you have a question you would like to ask Janice or her team, please reach out to them at realtorsofthe804 at gmail.com or 804-921-9995.